what's up? I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and in honor of me turning 18, I'm going to share with you guys 18 of my favorite songs that uh, shaped me into the girl I am today. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. The first song on here is Picture to Burn by Taylor Swift. I'm the biggest Swiftie ever, and I never stopped talking about it. Picture to Burn was like my first favorite song. I was like super young when it came out, and I remember I like wasn't allowed to say stupid old pickup truck because I thought stupid was a bad word. And so I'd like every time I played this song, I just wouldn't say stupid. Number two is A World Alone by Lord off of Pure Heroin. It was the first record that I remember like listening to and being like, oh my God, I see myself in those lyrics. Like I relate, like I can picture myself in the situations that Lord is talking about and I like, I feel seen by what she's saying. Number three is It's Too Late by Carole King. I was obsessed with like vinyl records when I was younger and my mom and I used to go to the thrift store and just like grab a bunch of like vinyl records and like not even really like look at the titles or whatever and we would just like play them to death. And Tapestry by Carole King was one of the records that we got from the thrift store. And I would just play this album over and over and over. And obviously Carole King is one of the greatest songwriters of all time. Number four is Somebody Told Me by The Killers. I love The Killers and my parents like totally raised me on like alt rock and stuff like that. So uh, definitely grew up listening to stuff like that. <laughs> Number five is Iron Man by Black Sabbath. I don't know why, but like I was like 13 years old and I would play this song like four times when I woke up in the morning and like four times before I went to bed because I was so, so obsessed with the song. Number six is Bathwater by No Doubt. I love this song so much. I love Gwen Stefani more than anything. I think she's such a brilliant songwriter and this song is like so honest. And she just like talks about being insecure in your relationship and being like jealous or whatever. And, and like, I had never heard a songwriter talk about that the way that she does in this song. Next is You Better Run by Pat Benatar. I love Pat Benatar. Um, that was another like record that I got from the thrift store and I would just play this record over and over and over. And I always just thought it was so cool. I love um, women in rock. I think just they're just the coolest. Girl, You Have No Faith in Medicine by The White Stripes. I, I love Elephant to death and Girl, You Have No Faith in Medicine makes me dance like nobody's watching. I am obsessed with it and I am obsessed with Jack White. Don't Think Twice is Alright by Bob Dylan. I just like recently got into Bob Dylan. My parents like never really listened to him growing up and I didn't really have any friends that listened to him but just as I got older I'm like obsessed with his songwriting and lyricism and this song is like just so beautiful. Next is Merry Go Round by Casey Musgraves. I absolutely love Casey Musgraves and I think this song is brilliant. I'm just obsessed with Casey Musgraves. I'm just obsessed with like female songwriters. And the song is so, so, so good. I listen to it all the time. Solemn Girl by Fiona Apple. I love Fiona Apple. When I was just getting into songwriting, my like piano teacher, I like played her the song that I wrote when I was like, like 12 or 13 called Naive Girl. And she was like, oh my God, this reminds me of Sullen Girl by Fiona Apple. And so I like listened to the entirety of Tidal and I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this woman. She's incredible. Funeral by Phoebe Bridgers. Um, I'm obviously a big Phoebe Bridgers fan. She's insane. I like, I like heard um, Motion Sickness for the first time like two years ago and I was like instantly obsessed and I like went and like listened to Stranger in the Alps in its entirety. And like, I used to just like walk around like Salt Lake City listening to this album over and over and over. And so like every time I listen to it, I'm like transported back to Salt Lake City in the fall. Out of the Woods by Taylor Swift. It's, it just so happens to be my mom's favorite Taylor Swift song too. So whenever we get in the car, I always play this song and it gets her hyped. And the bridge and Out of the Woods is just so good. Like I scream it at the top of my lungs. My Boy by Billie Eilish. She has a song in Everything Everything. And I was like at the premiere and I saw her and I was like, that's the coolest girl I've ever seen. And so I like looked up her music and I was like, oh my God, she's so great. So I was just like instantly obsessed with her and I was like, I was like, ooh, I have this little secret. Y'all y'all don't know about her. And like, you know, she's like the biggest superstar in the world now. It's actually so sweet. She knew the hairdresser on the show that I was working on and she like made me um, a poster and she like signed it and she said, never stop singing Olivia, love Billy. Next is You Should Be Sad by Halsey. This song completely indoctrinated me onto Halsey. She's just so honest, just like the lyrics like, 
you're not half the man you think that you are and I'm so glad I never had a baby with you. I was like, oh my God, like she's really not shying away from any of the tough stuff, which is my favorite um, aspect of songwriting. Disarm by the Smashing Pumpkins. Like I just play this in the car all the time and I like put it on full volume and just like scream in and cry. Next is I Miss You, I'm Sorry by Gracie Abrams. I'm the biggest Gracie Abrams stan. I've been a fan of hers for like years and I would just like go on her Instagram and look at all of like the little clips of songs that she posted and just like, just like analyze like every word. I have like every word of every song she's ever like posted online memorized. I just think she's so great. Last but not least, the 18th song is Betty by Taylor Swift. Uh, I am obsessed with folklore and Evermore and this song specifically completely changed my life. Just like the way that she made this like storyline out of like a couple songs like on the album. She just could created this world and it sort of felt like like folklore was like a movie and she had like these characters and it was this like whole intricate story like through songs. I was just so fascinated by the way that she did that. And I love Betty too. I love like folk music and like when I like first heard the song and I'm like, there's a harmonica in this. I was just like dying. So those are the 18 songs that like totally shaped me into the woman and the songwriter I am today. Oh my God, I can say one because I think I feel like I'm a woman now that I'm 18 maybe also as I, as I have been like looking at this playlist my dad has been playing driver's license the entire time I'm not making this up we like don't have like a family plan we all like share the same account so he's been listening to it so if uh, if you haven't listened to it you should totally listen to it too be like my dad <laughs> um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy Mwah! have a good day